let us now continue building our application and in this video we will provide some finishing touches to our application. So for that let us first give the finishing touch to our application layout. So go to the scene builder, select the V box and let us stretch our V box. Let us stretch it little more, you can stretch it as per your wish. Whatever you feel like makes your application perfect, just do it. Because it is just a drag and drop procedure. And now I will align this welcome at the center. And if you notice, we are unable to align it perfectly in the center. So what we can do is, let us select the left blue handle and stretch it to the left. And also let us hold the right handle and drag it to the right. So now the welcome takes the whole width like this. And now let us place this welcome text at the center. So simply select the welcome and make sure it is selected on the left. And then go to the properties part at the top. And down below you will find this option of node. And there you will find the alignment of the text center left. Let us change this to center. And now if you notice our text is aligned at the center. And now we can select our choice box and drag it at the center. This red line will help you to align it at the center. Let us stretch it little bit. Perfect. And similarly let us align the text field at the center. And also the button, select it like this. Let us now launch our application. So our application looks little better. And now let us come to the controller and let us solve our error that we were getting in the previous video at this point. That is, suppose the user enters some invalid input, then how to handle that exception? So for that, we need to do the exception handling. Let us use try block and within this try block let us cut this statement from here and paste it here like this. And now what we can do is catch the exception within the catch block as we all know from our previous module. Use the exception from the java.lang package, give it some space, use e or exception whatever you want to. And Within the exception, we need to warn the user that some error has occurred. So how the user can improve his input? Warn user. Let us create this method alt plus enter. And down below, this method is now created. Warn the user. Now here we can display a alert dialog. So let us copy all the code from here. And paste it here like this. And now Instead of information, let us use alert type dot error and set the title as error occurred and then set the header text as invalid temperature entered and finally set the description as please enter a valid temperature. So we have set the title, header text and the description and then finally calling alert dot show. And now at the top we have some error. Now within the try block the float enter temperature becomes the local variable. So we have to make sure that the scope of enter temperature variable extends to here as well. So let us use float and copy this variable name and paste it here and give the initial value as 0.0f. And now remove this float data type from here. And yes, we are now good to go. Let us now launch our application. And now let us enter some invalid input and then convert it. And if you notice by default, it is taking the default value of entered temperature as 0.0 F. So that is why again it is showing a dialog as 32.0 degree Fahrenheit. Now if you click on OK, then you will find this error occurred dialog as well. That is, it is also recognizing that user has entered the wrong input. So again, display this dialog. Now after we warn the user, 
we need to end the execution of the code here only. So let us use return statement here. Now whenever in Java we use the return statement, then after this statement, no code are actually executed. Now in case there is no exception, then our code will work normally. That is after the statement, this statement will be executed. But when there is any kind of exception, then this block will be executed. That is the catch block. And once this executed, it will simply end the execution here after warning the user. Right? Let us now launch our application and let's see what happens. Let us enter the invalid temperature, convert it and there we go, we are only getting the error dialog. Please enter a valid temperature. Fine. So let us enter 0 0.9 converted and there we go our code is now working perfectly fine let us change it to fahrenheit converted and yes perfect and now if you notice at the top we have hello java fx title so let us change that as well go to my main.java and within the start method if you notice we have set the title as hello java fx let us change it to temperature converter tool and now let us launch our application. Perfect temperature converter tool at the top. So we have just now completed our mini application of temperature converter tool. Congratulations.